Haiku season four episode sixteen. Yes, picking picking up with the Tanaka love story. I love it. And maybe saying nothing is the best plan here. Everything's coming up, Tanaka. Yeah, I'd say so. Which is a miracle, considering the fact that he almost really, really blew it bad, real bad. You don't always get those second or third chances. What it means, though, is that she really, really likes him. I don't know. It, for all I think about dating and for all I try to date, all the endless strategizing and overthinking that comes with that, the reality is probably something like you establish a, a baseline. If you're below the line of them liking you, it doesn't really matter what you do or worse, even the things you do well will be spawn negatively. If you're above the line, you're already in, and even the mistakes you make are either explained away or seen as cute. It's the middle, I guess, where you actually have a sway, but in reality, that line might be pretty thick, and you might not have as much maneuverability in it as you want to believe. Point is, a lot of the anxiety is not, not necessary. Episode 16, Broken Heart. Yeah, I'm excited too. This is fear, which I also understand. I also get it. He's protecting himself from disappointment by just not hoping. Same Tanaka. <laughs> that hair. It's a rough exterior, but underneath is a heart of gold and fire. Oh, she noticed Tanaka too. I don't know. I mean, she, it's okay if she doesn't like him, but she's definitely he's definitely on her radar. Oh, wow. Where is this confidence now? Did Shimizu just break him? Speaking of superficial... <laughs> no wonder I like Tanaka so much. We're both in the superficial club. That's the only reasonable response. That, that just doesn't work. Although, I did have a girlfriend once that I started with this. I started with that exact line. So it's not impossible, but it's very ill-advised. I think maybe it's time for a, a romance series. Look how fondly that memory lives in their hearts. The time Tanaka got his heart broken. Good times. It's, it's not a sure thing yet. Thank you. Thank you, finally, the recognition Tanaka deserves. Like I said, a heart of golden fire. Oh yeah, volleyball. <laughs> what is that? What is this anime about again? It's crushing it. All thanks to this very disturbing pork image. Just win this set. Just win this set on this. Okay, or not. Oh no! There he is. He was just pure, pure focused. Pure focus and dedication. I love this Tanaka focus. This is so good. This is time to shine. He <laughs> cursed at the ball or the floor or something, or the wall. Whoa! He just crossed the whole thing! Damn, look at his eye going up. Kagayama, damn, that was clutch. I want to believe that they got inspired by Tanaka's sacrifice. That is not great. Yeah, we need this. Got more than a chance. I'm feeling, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling really confident. Oh, look who it is coming from the back. Okay, it's not how I wanted to go, but still cool. All right, it's fine. Like I said many times, we're comfortable here. We've been here. We've been here worse. Or you'd be having a complete emotional meltdown. Yeah, yeah, it's not ideal. Well, you have not watched tape. You have not watched footage. Or uh, yeah, you don't. You do not know. I, I'm a believer. I have no doubt. <laughs> Damn, that's the most badass reaction that there, there could have been to that realization. I mean, he could have done it, I, but you know, whatever. As long as it's up, that was Nishinoi trying to be a bro. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't read that negatively. Oh, 
Don't think about that in mid jump. And he crushes it. I, I've been thinking about this show so much recently. I mean, obviously, because I'm watching it, but more than usual in a, in a way that's really nice. One of the biggest takeaways for me from this show so far, and it's one of those things that it's going to sound obvious, but it's, it's different when you like really can taste it, is just how powerful it is and how much farther one can go by getting good at the skill of not letting negative thoughts and emotions grip you. Like if you can find a way to just sever the doubt and the fear and all, all of that negativity from doing what you need to do, taking action and being effective and being able to perform at your A game, whatever that is, like just the, the peak of your current level, it almost feels like that's a trait that is guaranteed to lead to success in whatever it, it is. And it applies to so many facets of life. I think that's one of the biggest things that makes Karasuno so inspiring is they just, they're human. They have all these fears. They don't know if they're capable of certain things, but the ethos was established very early and they've stuck to it ever since that you go for the, the kill. You know, you go for the maximum level you have and you focus on doing that as best you can. You don't allow the spiral to happen. You don't allow the negative emotions to become negative habits. And it's a very fine line too, because there's a there's another extreme at the other end that's bad too, which is overconfidence, inability to reflect. They take stock of their failures. They fail. They lose games, although not recently, probably for this very reason. They're self-honest and they use that to find things they actually can improve that are actionable. And that's as far as it goes. Whereas I think a natural tendency is to take it much further than that, where it's actually inhibiting action and inhibiting growth as opposed to supporting it. There we go. I like this. I like that we're getting the cheers going. And it's not as embarrassing as the full horn section. I, there, I mean, they're a lot of fun. I, I like them more and more with each episode. And that also was very Hinata with the last minute punch. Second move, second move, second move. And you should know back into knock up again. Damn right. And he goes for it, even though he was the one going up as the block. He's being really hard on himself. I don't want to see him spiral, but I think he'll pull through. Oh, it was just out. It was just a little out. You need like a disturbing ham image to reset you. <laughs> what is Tanaka's version of disturbing ham image? What's interesting, I would never, I mean, it's probably been there from the beginning. I just didn't pick up on it clearly enough. Is how much his motivation is not letting people down. Feeling like he has to earn his place at every moment. I mean, that actually explains a lot. It explains why he's so efficient. He's just really deeply connected to this vision. He's very giving. And that comes through too. You know, he's very unselfish. He doesn't get as much attention as some of the other players, I think. But, I mean, he's always solid. And flashback. It also cuts both ways. I mean, maybe the necessary insight is the fact that people feel that way about him too. Nishinoya clearly does. Nishinoya keeps coming in to, to support him. And a pair or a group feeling that way about each other is, is deadly. Seems like the team mellowed him out a lot. Big chip on his shoulder. I can see how that could convert to wanting to be useful. Wow, saying that to Daichi. Daichi's no pushover. It's good to have a sense of humor. But yeah, that, there it is. That's what, what I wanted. There's that fire. There it is. And there's also, you know, like the silver lining, I guess, to the insults is that it can create a really powerful us versus them. I think if you love the people you're with, if you love your group or love your friends, it makes almost any rejection from anyone tolerable. I've thought about this a lot, actually, in darker moments when I'm trying to chart a path and I'm looking back trying to find the answers. Like, this was a great time in my life. What made it great? There's a, a wide range of circumstances and financial health and lifestyle health, different countries, different locations. But one thing that's constant is that my social circle, who I spent time with, was rock solid and I had that to look forward to always and if I had anything that went really wrong or, or had trouble in my life or very trivially and topically got rejected by a girl let's say there was something pleasant in the idea that oh my friends will have fun with this they'll have fun with this information and they have my back and when I reach that conclusion it's both good and bad I mean the the bad part of it is or the harder part is 
it's hard to deliberately find that. You know, it's hard to find friend groups that are excellent by force. You know, how do you actionably do that if you're in a new country, let's say, or in a country for the second time and a lot of your old friends are gone? It's good news because it's something that is there already. And in a sense, it's very simple. It's not some lofty dream or goal. It's something very human, if that makes sense. <laughs> Ruined it. But it's more dull, I guess. You know, I, initially my read on uh, As Asumu was that he was a troublemaker or that he was being deliberately antagonistic to Kagayama. I no longer feel that way. I, I think it's more like he's just having fun and is being cheeky and has either or both confidence to say whatever is on his mind at any given moment and perhaps a slight lack of awareness of what it does or how people react to it. But I think if you stick with him for long enough, he's someone you end up liking once you figure out who he is. Been here before. Been here, done that. Yeah, it's the same thing they did to... Ushiwaka. That support from Daichi might hurt even worse, because I'm letting down this great guy. Right, correct. Just believe in him. Just believe in him. Right. Right, right, he has had moments. It's a great line. And it's almost exactly what I was saying earlier about what I love about Karzuno, and Tanaka is such a great representative of that. And he calls for it. That might hurt worst of all. I mean, it resulted in a point. Point's a point. Would have been nice if it was if he went to Tanaka, but... Thanks, Sonata. That is a real one. <laughs> Just gotta butter him up. Butter him up. <laughs> oh, that was so perfect. Tanaka just shows up. Block in the lane. Tanaka has this intangible quality that I've experienced again and again playing basketball. And it's related to the, the theme I was describing earlier and, and Tanaka and the whole thing. The person who just goes for it. Like I've been beat on rebounds by people shorter than me so many times. Like they just shouldn't have been there, but they were. Someone else in their position who was like a foot shorter than me, perhaps, would look at me and be like, he's gonna get the rebound. There's a certain kind of person that will go up anyway and they'll often miss it, but then they'll also get it in times you never expect they would just because they're there. Like he just saw it and he, and he went for it. That's all there was to it. I'm looking at him. This is really beautiful. That's fine. I mean, that's normal. The thoughts aren't the issue. It's how you deal with them. <laughs> what is who is this man I, like i just given me a whole whole new respect for a character i already loved I'm still calling for it <laughs> god loves it I, i'm with her 100 percent. i love this girl i hope they get married Damn, I'm tearing up again. Oh. Suki compliments him. It's Suki, it's kind of a Suki moment. He understands how it feels. That screaming and letting it out. He didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. I felt that. He was just trying to score a point. This is like amazingly respectful from Suki and nice. Look, if you can, if you can manage to hold it down for a few seconds, you're winning. No, <laughs> why does everyone keep blaming, attributing everything good to luck? His specialness was contagious. Yeah, 
It's a different kind of heartbreak. Whoa. I was not expecting that. My heart is broken too, but like in the best way. It's so great. I mean, it's just so amazing. I shouldn't be surprised because the show is, is so great at building these lovable characters, but Tanaka has been not spotlighted for so long. I feel so happy for him. Like I've, I've always loved Tanaka. My phrase for him is Tanaka never misses, right? He's always there. He's always supportive. He's an unsung hero. So it's nice to see him get this moment of, of real recognition and to dive into psychology a little bit, which no surprise, it's rock solid and it's beautiful. And it's, it's well developed, well written. It's been there the whole time. It's nice that it got in the chance to bloom. Some amazing lines in this episode. Like, if I'm average, do I really have time to keep looking down? It's just so damn inspiring. I, I, I kind of really needed to see this. It's not just Tanaka. It's central to the whole show. It's central to Karasuno. But for a moment, Tanaka became like the, this glorious idol representing that that very thing like i said it's a fine balance because it's not lying to yourself it's not delusion it's definitely not taking other people down in the hope of raising your status relatively but it also is not letting the things that are maybe objectively weaknesses or obstacles let's call them determine the outcome or at least determine your effort level another great line is it's not about winning the match it's I can't remember the exact phrasing. Not doing all you can do, losing to the negativity. Defeating yourself is all too easy. It takes nothing. It, it's, just, it's almost natural for, for a lot of people. It's a skill that I think sometimes has to be learned. Some people have it naturally, some people don't. Getting that nice balance between honesty and reflection and seeking improvement while always swinging for the fences or just giving it your all. Trying to always hit your maximum level of skill, whatever that is. As a side note, it's kind of interesting that he brought up the height thing. I don't remember their exact heights. He may be taller than Hinata, but I don't think I've ever heard any evidence of Tanaka being insecure about his height. He just like handles it. He just eats it. And that's not a dig at Hinata. I think what he does is very admirable and he has a way of using it as fuel. But it's also obvious that Hinata suffers from that. Where it's it's not obvious that Tanaka suffers from that, which I think in, in a sense is a compliment to his stoicism, his inner resolve, his determination. To have a chip on your shoulder and to not have anyone be aware of that chip on your shoulder is impressive. It speaks to his genius. This episode was fantastic. I really liked it, if it's not obvious. For me, it's up there with the Suki block. It just came out of nowhere. I love it.